Hey you guys. So I'm a little tired. I've been up since 3 a.m. My first day back to work. Um, not bad. I thought it would be harder to be up and awake, and it's not. Um, just, you know, got right back into it. My shoulder is actually killing me, so I'm actually going to ask the boyfriend to rub my shoulder. Um, ask him very nicely to please rub my shoulder because it hurts. It actually hurts. Um, I definitely had to use it a lot more today than I do at home. There's a lot more rest periods in between using my shoulder at home. And I had so many people today, it's like, oh, hey, oh, I was just thinking about you. Oh, we were just talking about you. Oh, hey. It's like, okay, uh, I know. I, I, I literally know. I have people, my friends, tell me all the time that I'm the topic of discussion every few weeks, wondering where I've been when I've just been at home on L&I. I have a couple maintenance people that wanted to steal me for, like, duty, but that's not going to happen. I'm with one of my besties, Mo, and that's where I'm going to stay. Um, I enjoy it. I'm helping them. I'm doing the paperwork that, you know, can hold them up while they do all of it. it. So, you know, there's a lot of heavy lifting in the area that I'm in, and I can't do any of it. But I can sit at that computer and take care of that paper while you do the heavy lifting. So that's basically what I'm doing. And I got it done in half the amount of time it would have taken them to do it. Because again, they would have had to finish all of the heavy lifting, then sit down and do the paperwork while I'm doing the paperwork while they're doing the heavy lifting. So, works out. And of course, I need to wash my hair today. So I dry shampooed it. And everybody made a comment about how gross my hair looked today so thanks appreciate y'all oh well i mean it happens i thought my hair was gonna look fresher than this but apparently not um into such a negative space mentally I'm a little exhausted I'm also starving I did not pack enough food um, so I need to pack wiser tomorrow I definitely need to pack wiser um, I it's so hard right been out of work for like nine months and then you come back and people are shocked that you still work there and then I got my ex who's being super whiny lately and then he's like you know if you would have told me that your mother was taking our daughter to school I could have been the one to do it but I don't need your help I got my weak candle got my time covered because I will always make sure I can handle business and it was just frustrating that he was upset that I didn't ask him to then step in and take care of her on Tuesdays for me I don't I don't need you to you knew that I was gonna work five to three Tuesday through Friday not process in your head what that was going to look like oh well I'm not I don't want to sit here and complain it's just he's just been really frustrating the last couple days and you know trying to talk to my boyfriend about it and my best friend about it and it's just it's just it gets so draining and I just don't want to deal with it but I have to deal with it and then my kiddo has an appointment next Tuesday, but I can't get the time off. And then the 
roster manager actually called to make sure I was actually at work. some of these pounds off and go from there this is a sucky turn I gotta speed up we let's speed up a little Whew. all right you guys oh good morning so day two of the hostage situation that is work just kidding um, it's so dark out that I have my overhead light on combining vlogs because I realized yesterday I vlogged on my way home 
and then I didn't vlog anything else because it was such a shit show um, and I had one of those temper tantrum nights where like everything everyone did just upset me Ugh. like look at you can't see it's too dark but my nose is really red look it was doing good now it's flashing the mood lighting no that's too far away I need that one um, and like both as a test and not a test and like I was throwing tantrums like a petulant child and like I was being real stupid like I couldn't believe how I was acting and like my boyfriend is so good about it that he's just like do you want me to leave and I'm like of course not he's like well I'm like you know if you want to leave you can leave he goes of course I don't want to leave if I wanted to leave I would have just left and I'm like then why are you saying it he's like because you need to understand what your actions are doing and then like all sorts of ridiculous last night Ugh. so here I am day two hopefully we do a little bit better <clears throat> Everyone was giving me a hard time over my hair because, you know, I dry shampooed because I needed to wash it. And they were just being ridiculous. So my hair is fresh and clean today. I'm like, you can't wash blonde hair every day. And I forgot a hair tie. So now I have to have my hair down all day. I'm like, this is gonna sound like completely ridiculous, but the reason why I don't keep my hair down all day is because I know that I look good. Okay? I didn't even do my brows today. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I had time. I decided not to do it. Had time, didn't do it. I just didn't feel like it. So. Uh, I'm enjoying Honestly, I'm enjoying working. Um, I didn't get a whole page written last night, but got, I got two paragraphs written. So tonight, when I get home, I have to figure out in my head. I know what I'm going to make for dinner. I'm going to make the steaks, and I'm going to make the noodles. That way there's no trip to the store. I am going to make it super easy, nice and cheesy, and then going to work on my homework you know and, it, and it's going to be a more enjoyable time um, I'm going to apologize to my boyfriend when I get home tonight you know I'm not going to do it over text message you know and he was too exhausted to wake up with me at 3.30 which is fine absolutely fine I tossed and turned all night because I felt so bad and then my arm I just couldn't get to sleep and my dad made it too hot because you know my dad comes over to help me with Alex my dad made it too hot at the end of the night and so it was so uncomfortable for him and I was trying to tamper it down but he knows that I freeze and I'm like honey like you're here I will be warm it'll be fine but like the house was so comfortable in the morning and like I can't get it I mean sometimes I can get it that comfortable but again, now that I'm waking up at 3.30, there's still wood burning in the stove. Um, Alex asked the boyfriend to go rock climbing again, and she still really, really, really wants to go to a hockey game with him, especially now that she knows that he loves hockey. I've never been to a hockey game, but I wouldn't mind going. I don't mind watch ho watching hockey on TV, but I just don't have cable. And I know he really loves hockey. Like, you know, that's why I got Boston Bruins stuff all over my house. Literally on my house. I need to speed up. Um. So. 
so I get to work so far. I get to work next Tuesday. And my supervisor double checked. Because next Tuesday's a holiday. Holiday pay. You know? And since I work four tens, it's basically an extra five hours. It's five hours of overtime. I guess we're working my regular shift. I'll take it, thank you. Thank you. And she checked. She's like, you know, you sure you want her to come in on Tuesday? So, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm going to be super lonely the next two days. Uh-oh, there's a flare in the road. Just a random flare in the road? I don't see an accident? There it is. No, that's just a DOT vehicle. Well, maybe they have it cleared up by now. The accident very well could have been a lot earlier today because flares last a pretty decent amount of time. Yeah, I'm going to say the accident was a lot earlier today. All right, my lighting's getting pretty bad. I'll see you guys later. day three of the hostage situation that is work. So I got a call that my doctor authorized five eights, not four tens. So I have to move to five eights, which I'm scrambling to deal with childcare for said five eights. And, um, actually, I could go. Oh, I'm not gonna go there. Um, so the four tens, but we asked that if I can get my doctor to approve four tens versus five eights, if I can stay four tens, and HR said that I could. So I left a message with the person who writes those letters and has the doctor sign it. So hopefully she will, um, she will get a hold of me. Cause I called at like two thirty. Um, if not, I have to change my whole schedule and it's very frustrating. <sighs> and then, you know, my mom was always complaining about how my boyfriend doesn't help me. So then I asked my boyfriend to help me and he said yes, of course, because, you know, he's uh, he's not working right now because the, the jobs that he was at has ended and he moves on to another, you know, union work. And ooh, what do I want to eat? That is a good question. I'll just go to Safeway. Um, and so he's like, absolutely. He's like, you know, the only caveat is I don't know when I'll be going back to work. And I said, that's fine. Um, I'm hoping to get it put back to four tens, and it's not even an, uh, not even a problem anymore. Um, that's my goal. So that's what we're trying to do. So it's my Friday, on Friday, for now. Well, I mean, my Fridays will be Friday for a while. Um, so, oh, the soldering stuff. <sighs> yes, and oh, I need to get this light on. It's gonna be dark for a minute. Ooh. Um. You know, like I said, they want to change my schedule. And it's not, it's not the end of the world if they change my schedule. <sighs> oh, there's the jacket. I was like, where's my work jacket? It's not the end of the world. It really isn't. So I'll survive. Um, five eighths is still fine. And I'm sorry, I am normally more awake than this, but I was so exhausted the last few days 
that I fell asleep at 6.30 last night and woke up at 3.30. I'm still a little disoriented. It's four in the morning, I'm heading to work. So I ended up falling asleep like at 6.30. And I was doing my calculations at work on the amount of calories I was going to consume at work because I had my two big salads, my special treats, um, and all the fixings to go in my salad. And I was supposed to consume about 800 calories. Well, I did not successfully consume the second salad. So I got about 400 calories. Then I tried to get a, because um, I went to the store to get uh, tortilla wraps. So I tried to just get some uh, Safeway Chinese food. And I got the Kung Pao chicken. And I forgot how sweet it is. So that was gross, I couldn't eat that. So I had like three bites of that. Because I was trying to make up for a bunch of I was trying to make up for my calories with that Kung Pao chicken. Like, you know, to be perfectly real. I was trying to make up for my lack of calories with that Chinese food. And then, then that didn't end up happening because it made me sick. Ironically, I had a bowl of chocolate looking charms. That doesn't make me sick, but the sweetened, and I, you know, it's the type of sugar and like how it's done. It's, it's the craziest thing on, what, in what ways does sugar make me sick? Like I can drink an iced white chocolate mocha and not get sick, but eat too much cake and I'm sick. So I'm trying to get a balance. I'm trying to get a good amount of food. I'm at this point, I'm just trying to get calories in my body. I'm just trying to consume the calories at this point. Um, I'm not stressing about the type of calories and I know that sounds terrible, but I have deprived myself of calories for so long and I know oh man that was a smart idea so when I did my coffee today you know I always do the salt in the grounds but I also did a pinch of cinnamon perfect um, I know that people are going to come for me and say things and you know whether they whether they type it down in the comments or they say it in the head they're they're going to make comments at. I've gotten those comments m my whole time since my gastric bypass but you know weight loss is about calorie restriction um if you're not like, okay, if you're doing keto, it's not calorie restriction. It's like one of the few diets I know that's not calorie restricted, but all other traditional diets are calorie restrictive. Well, when you have gastric bypass, you go from eating anywhere from whatever amount of calories you're eating to like almost nothing. And usually in the first year or two years, you have the most weight loss because you're forcing yourself to eat around 1200 calories. Um, if you can get it that high. Um, and you know, I probably never should have started talking about it because it's, it's such a, it's such a slippery slope. And, you know, I found out that my boyfriend didn't understand what I was going through and I didn't have a food addiction beforehand. I mean, I like food, but I didn't really have a food addiction beforehand. And I have now what I consider a food addiction. Um, and I, you know, and it's, it's a, and my relationship with food is disgusting now. Like it's, I get so stressed out about food. It's ridiculous. There are some days where I drink a cup of coffee like I'll go get like a white chocolate mocha and you know that's the only calories I'm getting out of that is from um, the milk and you know the the white chocolate powder so that's what like four or five hundred calories depending on which milk you use and then I wouldn't eat at all until dinner time So on an average day, I was getting six, 700 calories and most days I'd be fine. There were some days where 
I would be sick because of the lack of calories, you know, the lack of eating. And honestly, there were some days where I'd get sick because I didn't eat. Um, but for the most part, and it's, it's hard to survive on just that amount of calories and, and, and your body hates you a lot, a lot. I, I, I noticed it was getting bad when I started taking naps every day and so I'm trying to eat more iron rich foods I, you know like the I, I have a spring mix in my salad not a regular salad a spring mix so a lot of dark leafy greens to get that iron I have my iron supplements now I'm trying to do better by my body so I mean we'll see we'll see how it goes so I just got done with with getting my lashes done and I put money aside for it it's my treat and legit so they have two tables upstairs and now that they have two gals that do eyelashes they can they two of them are doing lashes so uh one one lady goes up before me uh, because my gal was still caught up doing a set of nails well when i get up there i'm laying there getting my lashes done and legit the lady next to me was snoring okay full on snoring it was the funniest shit ever. And I'm trying not to laugh, you know, because clearly she's comfortable and just like chilling. But at the same time, she is snoring <laughs> at the nail salon getting her lashes done. It was like the cutest thing ever.